else. I wanted to talk first today um, about the local real estate statistics that came out uh, for November, which were pretty eye-opening for me. Um, historically, November is not a fantastic real estate month. It's, it's usually a, an average middle-of-the-pack month. Um, and, and usually you start to see a seasonal, I wouldn't say huge drop off because we're not in New York, but you, you don't see as many transactions typically in you know, November as you would in a, a July or an April or some of our peak season. And I was blown away uh, when these statistics came off my desk, uh, came, came on my desk this week for a couple of reasons. First, uh, 2,059 home sales in November of 2012. That is um, nearly 35% uh, more than November 2011, uh, almost 50% more than November of 2010, and uh, about 35% more, uh, or actually about 30% more uh, of November 2009. So a lot more home sales happening today. And um, what's, what's, what it's fueling is a lower inventory. We're down to 3.2 months of inventory. That's officially... Uh, that, that's a seller's market, you know. So, you know, if you're if you're waiting on the uh, the buyer's market to to come back, it's 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 not coming there anytime soon. We just don't have much inventory. So, um, 2,059 home sales. The other thing that was really eye opening for us is the average sale price in Tampa Bay has climbed to 178,748. That is the lowest or the highest average sale price we've had in several years, the highest by far this year. Compare it to January of this year when our average sale price was 145317 And I'm not talking about the average sale price on my team or in my company or in Remax. I'm talking about the overall market as a whole. And uh, while our, our company mirrors uh, the, the average sale price of the, of the market, that's a, you know, over 20% gain. Uh, you know, year to date in the average sale price and year over year from November 2011 to November 2012. So we are in a market that is appreciating. And it's it's kind of cool to say because we've been through so much. And there are still a lot of obstacles to get through. And there's some artificial things causing some of that, you know, a lack of foreclosures hitting the market. And, um, you know, there are a lot of factors impacting it. But the truth is, is that Homes are worth more today than they were a year ago. And, and I talk to people, you know, that, that call us that look to sell in 2009 or 2010 and they couldn't sell. They, they didn't have the equity. Now they're calling us and they're able to sell and get out and make money. And, and it's pretty, pretty, you know, astronomical to see the turn in our market. Low interest rates, you know, some local economic factors, you know, not as many foreclosures happening or hitting the market. A lot of factors come into play, but nonetheless, the statistics don't lie. Um, you know, 2,059 home sales. Um, you know, 178,000 average sale price, three months of inventory, and the average home is selling in 85 days. Um, that, that number is extremely low compared to where it was in our dark days where it was, you know, five and six months it seemed like to get homes sold. So a lot of really positive stuff we're seeing in the, in the local real estate market in Tampa Bay. And in that average price point, in that 180, 200, 220, there is a lot of competition. The bidding wars are, are happening daily. Uh, as you climb the price charts, the market is healthier, but you don't see you don't see bidding wars, you know, on the million dollar stuff or anything like that. But in that middle level, I couldn't say you never see it, but it's just not as common. You you, you in that middle level price point, it is extremely competitive, and a lot of uh, corporate uh, investors, you know, several large corporations buying homes in our market, you know, and and that's something that um, you know we've been telling people that if you are, um, you know, if you're out there and you're in a property and you, maybe you don't want to deal with the inconvenience of selling it through the holidays, you know, certainly contact us and we can see if your property, you know, qualifies. It, it tends to be kind of that middle level price point home that, that some of the corporations are, are looking to buy, you know, the 3-2 with a garage uh, under $300,000 and and turning them into rentals. And it's, it's pretty, you know, it's, it's something we're seeing more and more every day, more and more companies starting to do it. And it's a great opportunity for home sellers that don't want to deal with the inconvenience of selling to, you know, to sell direct to one of these companies, especially in, in times like this where, you know, you don't want to open up the house on, you know, the day after Christmas for showings and things like that. So